guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'll be showing you how to do multiplication. So now, um, so uh, first I'm going to teach you circles and a little bit of letters. And then I'm going to show you how to do like multiple digits. So let's start out with 7 times 5. Um, yeah, let's create that table right there. So this is essentially seven groups of five. So it's, just, it's gonna be hard, but let's write seven in circles. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that there's right seven. And um we need to multiply this by 5, so essentially each one of those represents 5. So each, so you multiply that by 5, so each circle represents 5. Or, sorry, represents 5. And um, so let's just put all the, basically the circles in numbers, because each one represents 5, so let's write 7 5s on the left here in a sec, since there are 7 5s. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now we're gonna put them into easy addition. So each five plus five, and then we'll leave a five out. So each five plus five represents ten. Right there. Oops, sorry. 10, another 10, and then another 10 right up there, and then that one's just 5. So, so right now it's 10 plus 10, that makes 20, and then 10 plus 5 is 15, so essentially right now it's 20 plus 15. So, so that, that's 35, and so our answer B, 35 right up there, it's right up there, right under our table, and now it's 35, so always circle your answers, and boom, 35. But... <laughs> What if I wanted big numbers? Let's erase this and find out we can do big numbers. Um, I wanted bigger numbers. Let's say I'm just gonna type three random numbers for but bigger numbers. Or okay, um, bigger numbers. So let's uh, first try with. I don't know. Three two seven, and then um, thirty six, and so it's it's uh, pretty much the same for this principle. We're gonna cross off. Um, so six times seven is forty two. So you bring over the four and keep the two down there. Six times two is twelve. Plus four is what? <laughs> what am I doing? I know it's 16. Oops. 16. Sorry, guys. Ooh. So bad at this. So, let's try to get it pretty much the same. So, it's 16. So, right now we have 62 down there. So, Six times three plus one be nineteen. So the first number is nineteen sixty two. But wait, what about the three? So we have to add another thing. And each time you go for the second digit, it's one zero. For the third, it's it's two zeros. So you add one zero down there. If there's more digits, it would be two zeros and three and then four. You got it right. 
So, 3 times 7 is 21. So you carry the 2 there. So now, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So 3 times 2 is 8, is 8. and then 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is just 10, so it's 10,810. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 6 plus 1 is 7. 9 times 8 is, or 9 plus 8 is 17, sorry. You know, and you carry your 1, and 1 plus 1 is 2. And then you bring down your one. So yeah, that's the answer. It's um. So let's fill it and uh, yeah. Thanks, guys.